Hello, and welcome to a new series that I'm doing in CK2 on this channel. So, today we will be playing as a patrician in the Merchant Republic of Venice. And let's get started. So for game rules, I'm thinking Aztec in the 13th century, sure. Devil Worshippers, default, just because it's new. Shadow Retreat off, Defensive Facts off, and uh, Supernatural Events on. Okay. Don't worry, by the way, I will be doing a new uh, secret Jewish campaign. However, it might not be um, Italian. It might be French or English or Castilian. We'll see. But either way, there will be another secret Jewish campaign. I'm not giving up on that idea yet. But I was thinking, I want to get revenge on Croatia, and I've always wanted to do a Merchant Republic run. And uh, there's the Who Needs Vasco da Gama achievement where you take over all of the trade ports the coastal trade ports in india so that will be the goal for this campaign will be to travel all the way to india and if we can also get the pax mongolia achievement where you get three fully upgraded trade posts on the silk road so without further ado let's start off so i'm thinking let's look at our stats so we are roth content Diligent and gregarious, so not too bad, not too great. Um, let's. I think since we're a war-focused guy, let's go for hunting, get that extra health, and obviously you can't acquire title. We have only this little island. He's not going to give us it, so let's get become a paragon of virtue. Let's get married, particularly to someone who's not going to cost us tons of money. So let's go to character finder, and of course we're going to start the eugenics program as soon as possible. Because, you know, it's just what you do. And uh, load filters. Woman. There we go. Alright, and let's search for someone with a good trait. We'll take the Frankish attractive girl. For this campaign, you do want attractive because the uh, it can be very helpful when, for your vassals, actually. Now that I've looked at the uh, forums a bit and read about it. I have decided to institute the absolute rule law. It is needed to support decline. So, you're married. We are going to... We don't have enough courtiers <laughs> to even fill up our council. So let's... Uh, do you want to invite noble to court? We definitely want to borrow 300 gold from the Jewish merchants. And let's recruit a court physician. Sure. And I think that's about it. Designated heir. Who's our heir? So this four-year-old boy, okay. And designated regent will be this man. Alright. So we start off with 600 gold. How did we get so much gold? Dang. Well, first things first. We want to build our first trade post. And I'm thinking Veglia. So we can get our revenge on the Croatians. You know, some might call that folly. But I'm a little bit... A little bit salty about that. So let's do that. And then also, we are going to want to go to our Patrician House, which is a unique building type for the uh, for Republics, where they have tons of good bonuses. And we are going to want to wait for 440 gold to upgrade our mansion, because one of the benefits is that it gives you... If I'm not wrong... Oh, they might have balanced this a bit. Where is the extra trade post limit? Retinue size, okay. Monthly prestige, fertility, monthly piety, secluded shrine, tax income. Huh. They've changed it. Everyone's concerned. Well, we'll upgrade our mansion anyway. Give us that levy. And let's get started. She's arrived. We'll pay 10 ducats for a court position. The absolute rule law passed anyway. Screw you, Doge. So, we will be want to, in case you're not familiar with the, uh, the mechanics of a, of a uh, Republic, you have this modifier called Respect, where your age, your prestige, and how much money you donate to the campaign will decide whether or not you're going to be the next doge. And we do want to become the next doge, 
simply because if you look at our own, we have 420 army. Our liege has 420. We have, I think, 60. So until we get enough money to get better, ooh, that's a hard hit. Until we get our some trade posts up and we get our sons to have kids, which will up our trade post limit, we will be, and we can build up our uh, the troops from our main building. We are gonna need to be doge in order to have enough money, uh, troops to actually conquer anything. So let's go to speed five for the beginning, just because there's not that much that happens in the beginning of the Republic game. Also, we are House Participatio, because I kind of like that. We're like the participants. At least we tried. And the goal of this is that you get this unique modifier when you build a trade post in someone's land, where you can eventually... I don't believe our trade post is actually built. Oh, it is built. You can, at some point... You're not bankrupt. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I'll show you in a second. Let's get our son to be might. Might. Or is it struggle? Struggle. There we go. There we go. So. Do your best to treat her. So, eventually, you can declare war on people and seize the city of Veglia. And then, once you seize the city, you can then seize the main county. Oh, and it looks like our wife died, so let's get another woman. Search all. And there is a quick girl. Let's get age. Let's go down to like 16 or so. Because, you know, we're only 29. It's not that big of an age difference, but not that it really mattered in the Middle Ages anyway. So let's look for someone with a quick or strong 56. Dang. So it looks like there's no one. So in that case, let's get this Italian girl. Arrange marriage. Us. And there we go. Curses. Steward, he hates us for some reason. And it is, he is zealous. Oh, he's Jewish. Okay. We could try to become Jewish, but I think we're going to save that for the other campaign, where we'll be a feudal ruler. For this one, we're going to be good little devout Catholics. And uh, let's go for... Because we also might, if we get lucky enough, we might be able to conquer all of India and get the St. Thomas' Dream achievement as well. So it might be a triple achievement run. So, you will also go struggle, because we want warriors in our dynasty. The white stag, send people to find it. There's some controversy on the forums right now about whether or not they like this expansion, Monks and Mystics, or not. I don't know. I think there's some weight to it. I think what really is, it has a lot of potential for growth. I think that's the important thing. Like the treasury and... Ooh, we have cancer. That's not good. Oh, he has cancer. That's good. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say, but, you know, we're kind of treacherous. Um, but yeah, so I think I think that there's potential. I don't know. But I do understand some of the complaints that people have had about this expansion. Stuff like the devil worshippers are a little bit too overpowered, and the hermetics are... that you can't actually mix the ingredients that you get from the hermetic society. So, there's some things that need to be fixed, but overall I'd li I like this expansion. I think it adds some interesting flavor. Gain Willful. We lose prestige, yes, that is fine. So, let's see what we want to build next in our great mansion. So, ah, so there we go. The trade post limit comes in now at the second, uh, the third uh, upgrade for your great mansion. And that's what we really want, is to build more trade posts so we can get more money and then start rolling. Hiring mercs and having them fight for us. You should be... let's have you duty-focused. Your job will be to matrilinearly marry someone, and then have more babies, and hopefully sons. And then that will up our trade post limit even more. Let's get you better in Marshall. 
Let's do our air. Will a buzzard do? They're too dangerous, my love. We can't afford to spend money on you. I didn't actually say that, though. I just said, they're too dangerous, my love. So it looks like our liege is building a hospital, so that's nice. Fussy, yes, we do want you to be fussy. And let's see. We have more daughters. Let's go... Duty focused for the daughters. Gains wounded, gains stressed, Megan haughty. Or we just lose prestige. Let's just lose the prestige. I don't want to become... Or wound our, do our kid. Excellent. He's a loose shadow. It's very good. Oh wait, that wasn't me. That wasn't my son. Hmm. Also, we did not have parents. Because, you know. We just came from nowhere. I think that means that they're not noble. But, anyway. I find it funny that you have empty parent slots. And he loves them. So our, no, our uh, doge is going to do stupid things like build buildings and uh, help the realm. Where we are going to be pretty greedy and just try to attack for our own sake. Because we need to start conquering land. Not just staying on our little island and uh, getting money. Because that's what they would do if they could help it. Become diligent, yes. Do we have any... Yes, we do have a Chancellor. Okay, so let's have you do Statecraft and you can train troops. Not that it's going to do us much good. We only have 75 troops. But in time, that will change. But first, we need money. So I apologize for the first like two episodes or so. Because it will be a lot of waiting for money to come in to the coffers. But... In this, no time at all, we will be rolling out of control, hopefully. So, Patience is a virtue. Blah, blah, blah. And another minus 50 gold. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. I think that's the third minus 50 gold we've gotten. And never have we gotten a plus 50. Random events will give you an money in this game. In this, uh... Get, what's it called? In the Merchant Republic government form. You'll check, set out trade expeditions, and sometimes they pay off, and sometimes they don't. She may get brooding. brooding. Okay, that's fine. Lose to prestige. Designated heir. We want you, right? Yeah. Gain the trade zealous. That would be nice. And we might be joining the Hermetic Society at some point, just to get a magnum opus. Uh, could we join the Hermetic Society right now? No, we don't have enough learning. Three learning. Jeez, we couldn't even do it if we so focused on theology. Could Dane Groth. Against the trait Brave. We are... Gustitaniano. He must learn on his own. We don't want to become stressed again. So let's see, do we have any... We do have another trade slot, so... Conoclast kind of Faith Triumphant. So let's build a trade post here. But well, that's going to be 214 gold. Ooh. It's a little bit too much there. Someone already built one in Kona. Someone built one in Venice. Could build one in Ravenna. Ferrara. Let's build one here in Padua. And another minus 50 gold. This is ridiculous. Do your best to treat your son. Yes. The more sons, the better. Loses the trait sickly. Very good. And he is a skilled tactician. Follow the Avars. Who'd they get conquered by? Looks like just the Bavarians. Is this not... Are you not a Varian anymore? Oh, you're Croatian. Okay. So, hung, the Hungarian basin has turned Slavic. 
as is, I believe, is historical. I'm not quite sure. Well, they get taken over eventually by the Magyars. So I guess they're not Slavic. <laughs> Good idea. Find any relic you can. Because you preface this as one often do, you come across Mayor Rodolfo on his desk, overburdened with work. He looks at you with heavy eyes and for a moment decides to accept your offer. So, we get a favor. That's good. Steward. Spy Master. And Court Chaplain. You. Okay, now let's see what we can do. So, let's have you studying content. Con spy. Not study. Spy in Constantinople. Why is the whole the uh, Byzantine Emperor not? He's in Dalmatia. What are you doing there? Very interesting. And he only has five thousand troops. <laughs> anyway, so we will be doing that, and then let's. What else do we want our council to be doing? Let's have him proselytize, improve religious relations with the Pope. And yeah. Oh, and collect taxes in there. And there's a new doge. Okay. Point counselor, title of marshal, yes. Tax shifted noble obligations law. Left in new doge. Oh, so it looks like he died immediately. Okay, we do not want to be your commander though. Our hunting dog unfortunately died. So it's a little bit tough. It might not pay off, but I think I think it will. To occupied spies, yes. I think it will pay off to build this trade post. Because the money that you get from them is just so so much. Let's look at our trade post here. We are getting 10.6. Tax. I think that is that yearly or yeah. So that's more. That's almost a decade a month, which is crazy, for a trade post. Gains a trade poet. You'll see eventually. Eventually, we'll be rolling around in ducats. Court position. Unfortunately, it looks like the province that we're thinking about building in is going to lose its loot, which does affect the amount. But for now, let's build the trade post. Gain the trade humble. Wonderful. Let's see. So eventually we will want to get all of, I think, Croatia. This this duchy right here. And then when that's done, we will be able to make that our capital duchy. And that way, Veglia will eventually be our, our main our main place to increase technology. So we don't actually want to increase technology in Venice. Because it's not often that we're going to be Doge and therefore be able to control Venice. So, let's control the Canary. Yes. And then one child lacks a focus. Struggle. Do we have any other sons that are not married? Yes. So you need to be married to this lady and you are good and then also we want to get all of our children married so let's get you married to can we not marry matrilineal oh they must have changed that hmm. all right so let's get you it doesn't matter if you're married then But we could get a alliance with Bavaria. That might be a good idea. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Do you have any sons that are unmarried? You're betrothed. You could be betrothed. Arrange betrothal with my daughter? No. Difference in age, prestige effects, base relations. Mm. Nope. Okay. Is there anyone that you could get married to that would give us an alliance? Let's see. So you, Mary, Lombard. Who, who are you related to? 
Count Rahagra of Toronto. So that's really, that's the uh, this province right here. Anglo-Saxon. The Baron. Not looking like the greatest. A Baron. A Count of Maine. Okay. Okay, let's uh... Let's just get him married to this this guy. All right. And then also we need to before we do go any farther, or while we're plant going, welcome them reluctantly. We will become just. Oh, Vegla is getting sieged down, and so you can see we're making a lot less money there now. But for now, let's uh, let's go to characters, pacts, Count of Toronto. Let's see if we can form an alliance. Yes, good. You are a weak boy, so you are going to struggle, but you will be stronger for it. And another boy. Oh, and we died. That was not surprising. What did we die from? A natural death, although not especially blessed. We hope you will find peace in the afterlife. Hmm. Oh my god, he's a devil worshipper. Of course he is. No, we're not going to be part of Lucifer's own in this playthrough. Let's leave. I don't personally like the... I like the Hermetic Society, but I don't really like the uh, Lucifer's own. I think it's too overpowered. Kill someone? No. Stop it. Alright. I'm married to a quick girl. It's nice. Alright, Chancellor, Marshal, Steward, Spymaster. Wow. Th 23. Spy, uh, Intrigue. That is pretty good. Alright, just study over there. Collect taxes here. Train troops. And statecraft. Alright. We don't have a court chaplain, unfortunately. Let's see what your stats are. Let's go... Let's go war. Let's get some good modifiers. Let's go become a counselor, sure. And then... That's about it. Alright. Let's continue on. Continue wake raking in the ducats. For now. Could we declare a holy war? No. Ugh, 50 gold gone. Down the drain. So let's see, trade zones. Well, we can see here, I think. Protected to the capital. Looted province. Stewardship. Trade zone bonus, 26%. That's pretty good. So the reason to build lots of trade posts in the same sea zones is that you get the more bonuses that that uh 26%. You got food poisoning. As long as you know what you're doing, I actually feel better. Very good. And the speed of the carriage picks up even more as it hurdles down the slope. Looking out the rear window, you see a waving man holding the reins of a two Two familiar looking horses far behind me on the road. Only when the carriage flies over the edge of the ravine do you realize that it was the man who reminded you of your driver. Ah, we got murdered. Alright, why would we get murdered? We're not even like... Alright, anyway. Alright, so children. Let's go with that. And then let's really quickly designate our heir. Who would we like to be? You are so dull. And you have great pox and you're a lunatic. So we don't want to be you. So let's instead be this boy, that rat. All right. It's okay. We're making money. It's all good. Marshal and steward, you hate me. So let's not do that. Designated heir. Let's be this boy. Okay.
And we need 577 gold for the next upgrade. And then we can start building troop buildings. Oh my gosh. How many times have we lost 50 gold? And never once have we gotten 50 gold back. Usually you get 100 gold actually, but... Still, this is ridiculous. Serbian Revolt. Do well. You have my blessing. And you're probably gonna win. Well, you're actually allied with Pannonia, so maybe not. We would like to be... Military. So let's see, let's see, what has he built so far? Built a couple of upgrades to the city. The church, that city is doing well. This city is doing really well. Gain cynical. Not exactly what I'd like. And the start of the Viking Age. Time is flying by in this playthrough. Patrician Libro and Gustiano become rivals. You'll pay for this. And more bit of rivals with our brothers, so that's that's great. Let's prove the levy shifted burger obligations law. I do like the idea of this boy becoming the heir. The as he's like falling off the cliff, he's writing in his will. Please make this boy my heir. And he throws it in the air driver that just murdered him picks it up. Because, oh, okay. Clearly wants this boy to be his heir. Anyway, that's my gallows humor for you. Diarrhea. Very well. Health plus one. Very nice. And we're dull. Great. Just what we're trying to avoid. And we have dysentery. As long as you know what you're doing. Actually feel better. So we are pretty bad. That's alright. That doesn't stop us from making money. I beg you for a new assignment. My Chancellor. Okay. Then why don't you improve relations with the King of Italy so that we get cheaper trade posts. The amount of opinion that you have with the man who owns the land in the end is how uh, how uh, expensive it is to build the trade posts. Orthodox faith is now be triumphant. Okay, Serbia is doing well. Very tough soldier. Okay, let's go exalted among men and war. Let's get married. So let's see. Do we have any good congenital traits? No. So let's just marry this terrible creature. No. Uh, this girl. Take the money. to become a warrior. Let's go running. Nice. And we gained wrath. Not exactly what I was looking for, but lost dysentery. That's nice. You are going to be the stewardship focus. And let's see. Do we have any brothers who are unmarried? Who are adults? No. Okay. We do want to get them all buried so they can make boys, and then we can have a bit wider range of people to choose from, and we can make more trade posts. Light skirmish force. Smash the table and send the army pieces flag. Keep up the good work. Here we go. The dock workers handling the loading and unloading of your chips become quite efficient at their work. Disembarking crews. Are complaining that they barely have enough time to get drunk in Venezia before their galleys are ready to set sail again. 
Keep up the good work, man. Alright, we're finally making headway into our 500 gold. Maybe another time. We are 17. Let's see. We have terrible respect. Gain prestige. We want to be an inspiring leader. Siege leader, for sure. And this boy needs to be... So he would, be, would do well with thrift, because he's already fussy. How old are you? 15. Almost old enough to be... We have a son. Almost old enough to get married. So very good. Steward, spy master, and no court chaplain. Perfect. Alright, we got through like six, I think, 40 years, and we've made a bit of headway into finally getting that mansion up, and then we will be able to avoid troops, and then we will be able to spiral out of control and start start taking over land. So, sorry about the a little, the slowness of this uh, this episode, but it'll only be for an episode or two, so... Thank you for watching, and if uh, you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.